Texas A&M headed to Denver to face off against Colorado. A 17-point favorite are the Aggies. Haynes King took about a half to get going last week. Finally opened up on Kent State. Kent State should have scored more than 10 points. They missed several field goals. They missed a wide-open guy. I mean, it was just a, a disaster. Mistakes all over the field. I Colorado, we saw them twice against really good teams last year, and they got demolished against yep. Utah and by Texas. And I kind of feel like the same thing's going to happen here. Texas A&M, it seems like the offense is being opened up a little more. It seems like they trust Haynes King. He is getting a feel for the game. I don't care that this one is on the road. It's not in a, a home environment. This is in a neutral site. It's in Mile High Stadium. It's you know it's in Denver. I'm, I'm going to ride with Texas A&M to cover this because I don't think the Colorado can, can hang. I don't think they got enough athletes. I don't think they got enough players to really be – or the depth. How's that? I don't think they got enough depth to be able to keep up with a team like Texas A&M who I think is just in a different stratosphere from, uh, from the Buffaloes. Okay. So we agree again. But I want to put a little caveat on this. I, I'm i afraid of this game but for, for one sole reason. I think with the altitude and then boys from South Texas, not used to that kind of altitude. I guess it's not really South Texas. It's like mid-Texas. Not used to that altitude. And I could see the back door being wide open if that defense just kind of gets a little struggling in the fourth quarter and they're up by, you know, four scores and you let a couple of garbage time touchdowns roll by. That, that worries me a little bit, but I'm with you. a and the better football team. I think Colorado's going to struggle to score. I think this defense is going to get better as the year goes on, and I'm, I'm with you. I think the offense is going to get better as the year goes on. They, they have really, with Jimbo this year, for whatever reason, it looked in that Kent State game like they were kind of opening this thing up. They seem to be moving a little bit faster. I, you know, under Kellen Mond, like they played at one of the slowest paces in the country, and and now it seems like they have figured out. Okay, we got some horses, you know, outside. We got some wide receivers. We got some speed. We need to take advantage of it, and and I think that's exactly what they will do in this situation. Yeah, the altitude stuff does does bother me a little bit. I read actually a report not that long ago that that altitude does not impact guys nearly as much, especially when they're younger. So I'm I don't know what to make of that, but it, I'm gonna ride with that we somebody would put that. We have like a hundred years of data that out altitude really like messes with folks. That's that's what I thought. We're just to ignore that. That's and so it it does mess with folks as far as when you're a little bit older. But if you are a a conditioned athlete, and I'll have to find this this article. But yeah, it, it surprised me that like it doesn't really affect college kids. So you know we talk about it in the NFL all the time, but. Uh, for whatever reason, I guess with college kids, it's, it apparently would not affect. So you think? Do so you think the four years of age difference is 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 really the difference? I have no idea. It because <laughs> it's not like we're talking about a decade. It okay, doesn't, it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me. But I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I'm still riding a And M. I think that they are going to be up by enough that it it won't matter too much. So, so yeah, I mean, I am too, and I'm hope I don't hope for they just they get up big and they hold on. But that's I'll say that I'm just letting you know. That the back door scares me. That's oh, all. Totally I don't think Colorado will be in this game the whole way, something of that nature. I think if we bust this, if we lose this, it'll be because we got God on the back door, and it's because maybe the defense is just a little gas. Totally, totally makes sense. Uh, reminder here that we are making these picks. These are different than what I give out on the Bet US show. If you want some of the bigger games and whatever, the SBR show that Chris hosts and I host the Bet US College Football Show. You can go over there. There's a link in the description, and we cover basically every game of the week. I mean, just go and check it out. It's it's very easy to find. So go ahead and dive into those. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.